I am glad that we are together today to start our uh, seventh uh, uh, session. And uh, this time, I, I would like to to start with some talk with you that I would like to uh, uh, that you discuss also with your colleagues, because uh, the objective of this uh, program is not just a course, but to spread the war uh, in the world and to 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 share effectively or to contribute effectively via all of you in increased affordability of better value cancer care. Is that is possible? Yes, via science. Despite that many are not sitting this. So that is why you may notice that uh, 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 most of my slides particularly are uh, not short or long to keep it as a document with reference nothing is absolute so if I, I say something i say it with reference i didn't invent anything we didn't invent anything in the win-win initiative all my colleagues 100 colleagues i didn't invent anything but it is present in publication the question is why many miss this or don't see this despite that it represent a, a, a saving solutions for many of the present problem and there are many other problems that uh, could be uh, we can explore for it solutions some i i, I received some feedback from some that uh, it, it is uh, uh, our what we are speaking is high level, and so uh, uh, so we have to 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 to, to lower the level of uh, the the talks and lectures. No, the present generation, not my generation, <laughs> I am old, but the present generation, active generation, present most of the present and all the future and you have the key to the progress and this progress couldn't be at all achieved while we are the crisis of lack of uh, progress in cancer care can could be achieved without the crisis the increasing crisis of lack of shortage uh, of lack and shortage uh, and uh, uh, difficulties in affordability with dignity for increasing numbers of millions of cancer patients in the world. And this increase year by year, despite of all speaking conference summits, uh, the, uh, uh, this is uh, wise speaking, uh, choosing wisely, choosing uh, uh, not wisely, uh, common sense uh, agendas, uh, submission, commission. So we have to be together within science. We're not going to lower the level, but you will raise the level by more discussion among you and following the message. Every one of you is ambassador to, to forward this message. Uh, I, I, in, in the next session, uh, I'll, uh, I'll present the, 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 what I received uh, just uh, since a few days from Professor David Kerr. But I, I'll give you some news about it now. This, uh, uh, this is a, a good news that what we are saying in this lecture, the, in this course that belongs to you, not to us, are I, I would I, I would like to assure you that is well listened and well heard in many levels in the world. Many scientific levels the world because we didn't invent anything. It is all with reference and published by many authors. The good news, one one of the one of the good news that uh, Professor David Kerr, who is a, a renowned professor in uh, of medical of cancer medicine in Oxford, and he is uh, one of the biggest responsible about many things, including phase one trials and clinical trials 
uh, he and uh, Professor uh, uh, Richard Kerr, uh, 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 clinical trials in Oxford and many parts. Uh, uh, he approved and agreed as one of the leaders of the win-win and he has been supporting to revisit phase one trials of the new drugs and the doses that prescribed in many conferences, many and many guidelines are many uh, uh, that particularly considering the the doses of uh, 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 new drugs immunotherapy. As I told you before, uh, the average price of certain drugs, new drugs, cancer drugs of immunotherapy is equal to uh, 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 275 thousand dollars that is the average price this is more much more than the average uh, 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 income of a citizen in california which is one of the richest states in the united states so what is about the the the, the poorer uh, uh, patients or with less income in the united states itself and what is about low middle income countries but just titles and we don't search for solutions because, but despite the solution is in, in front of us. That is why we advocate for this to be a, a, a win-win movement that would be belong to all. Uh, and the good news that Professor David Kerr, and, and you'll listen yourself a uh, 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 video and uh, <laughs> sound and, and photo, or as you see, sound and image, that he says that uh, that uh, uh, many tri many wo scientific work now, particularly uh, uh, Professor Ian uh, Tanuk, the great uh, uh, Professor Ian Tanuk, please read for his, that was his nice work. I learned a lot from his work, really. Show how uh, one dose could be could be enough for four patient, five patient, and even he uh, David Kier says that for eight patients without compromising the outcome and being very effective and without compromising the outcome. So why with this uh, uh, incredible uh, 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 spending? Why this bankruptcy of patients? Why all these effects? We know why, and you know why, by the way. <laughs> you know, you, we know why. But uh, uh, the, the ship, uh, this boat or this ship uh, will not navigate for, for, for long distance like this. So what we are saying is, uh, and what we, we, you are advocate, you are the heroes of this, will be, uh, 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 will be uh, all will win. Even the industry can gain a lot. But, but because it is the markets uh, 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 will not uh, can cannot be uh, shows uh, many uh, flo flourish uh, advances in the upcoming years because it it is skyrocketing price many economic problems in the in the world so what 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 how we can navigate like this with a win win raise the flag with you and by you to do this. So we are re really uh, 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 welcoming. And please give us your feedback, your points, and you are open for all, not only during the, 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 the lecture and listen to the feedback. No, it is, we have the open links all the time for all. And as we said before, that even if, if you if you propose an idea of uh, 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 suggestions, we we consider it, and maybe it become a new thing that could be worth uh, uh, or deserve to be published. It would be published under the name of the sender after his his or her permission. That is what we repeated many times. So these people who say that. Uh, 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 this is one way uh, speak and not uh, uh, no it is not true this is open for all 
and the boat will continue by you. Please read, please read what we uh, read a lot because this is our your arsenal by science, by knowledge, and not to listening the stereotype, many stereotype talks. Uh, please, millions of patients in the world, regardless where they are and who they are, regardless of nationality, religion, or color, or whoever they are, are screaming. Be together. Don't forget us. Don't repeat the stereotype things. Don't say this is high level what, uh, what we are saying. Please go deeply. Go deeply and examine everything, nothing absolute. And even all what I am saying, all what we're saying, all our stuff saying is for discussion, for scientific discussion. It's open for all. Science is continuous search for, for the truth forever in life. So I start I start my, my, uh, the first lecture today. But uh, uh, please, uh, if you have any question, you can pause after the lecture. And we have a pause between the two, the two lectures today for your question or discussion. And then uh, 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 you can send after uh, 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 to all your comments and feedback and your suggestion, ideas, whatever it is. It could be a very intelligent idea, very useful idea, but we don't recognize it now, but it should be discussed, should be considered. Uh, today, I am glad also that Professor Christina Stefan uh, sent a message since minutes that she will join us after uh, uh, 40 minutes. And we are glad and pleased also listen to Professor Christina Stefan and her uh, comments, she is a very known oncologist and she is by her, by her heart and science with, with us is a movement. And there are increasing numbers of distinguished professors are joining uh, 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 every day. Uh, maybe not appear in the participant of the course, but every word uh, uh, we say is recorded. Every word we publish is, is, uh, uh, is, is recorded. And regularly, many are receiving what we are saying, and they are considering this because it is not our say. It is based on the work of hundreds of scientists and, and uh, in the world who publish it. So don't let their work for the benefit of human beings be lost or wasted under the, the stereotype talks and and uh, 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 that is not at all deep in science. Thank you all. Hello. I am a Professor Ahmed El Zawawi. Uh, today we start our seventh lecture of uh, a video, short video lecture of uh, the the Global Oncology uh, Implementing Science co Course Program. And uh, it is a part, as you know, of the Global Oncology University. In fact, uh, we start a series of lectures, starting with these three, uh, this, uh, first uh, three videos about an overview for a resource uh, saving and better value cancer treatment approaches. Uh, uh, it is based on chapter 14, general overview for resource saving and better value cancer treatment approaches. This is chapter 14 with updates shortly. And this group of, of lectures in module three, we, we, uh, we raise stimulating brainstorming issue, issues. We don't claim that we have the completely perfect statements or complete truth. Science is perpetual searching forever. So, Leave recorded panels will be organized as part of the program. We are open for all views. This could enrich science and the, the, the cause of cancer care. 
All feedback, comments, advice, and suggestions are welcomed. Disclosure, I inspired this work from colleagues and all and publications. Uh, and, uh, so I, I have no uh, uh, disclosure interest. Uh, it, it, note also that you may uh, uh, that you may notice that uh, in most of our slides the text is not short, with few words uh, uh, or, or with just a few words or, or lines. Also, as much as possible, we add some references. It is intentional to be used as PDF material for all who would like to receive a copy upon request. Please send to to to, to us and to uh, 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 be uh, uh, as a material for uh, the course and available for all. Uh, note one, along the GOIS uh, program uh, in this short lecture, we don't transfer, uh, only transfer some information in a passive way, but we also raise brainstorming points. So the feedback and positive interaction are welcomed. During the assessment of participants in this course, however, uh, it is encouraged to receive your feedback critical appraisal comments and suggestion. All your feedback is considered. The summary of some received feedback will appear in next edition or new book, uh, uh, books or courses under the, uh, the, the uh, with sitting the names of the sender and after your permission. Uh, uh, as we agreed together in the win-win initiative in the Global Oncology University, we adopted the flexibility of thought, a free flow of ideas, classic innovative approaches, and that all be focused on scientific and practical implementation in order to serve the goal to increase the affordability of better value cancer care in the real world. All chapters uh, 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 of this book and the course are directed to all stakeholders except uh, module three, this part, as it directed particularly to cancer care professionals, scientists, health industry, and health economists and stakeholders. This part contains more specialized medical terms, but we explain. The objective of this chapter is to present some examples of the published studies and ideas of many authors. We don't claim that all, uh, all these approaches are exclusive or final solution, nevertheless. It shows that there are unlimited approaches for scientific studies and researches that could lead to lower the total cost without diminishing the cancer treatment outcome. Is it feasible? Yes. But we don't know why, why, why many of these publications are missed. It is called for all. This could potentially increase opportunities of patient center value cancer care. The win-win doesn't present just one more book or course or more declaration or slogans but we pre but by presenting this example we call for more enormous approaches in the world this is open the way but not not exclusive as we emphasize several times the win-win a movement and its books and that this would be serve millions of human beings with cancer in the world to boost progress of science implementation to save the health system economies from collapse and to flourish health industry, all will win. Uh, as the readers can access more relevant example of our previous publication, working meetings like that during ASCO conferences, ESMO, ESMO Global uh, Policy Committees, and e-cancer video in the web. Content the, uh, or the scheme of these three parts. Uh, in this part, one of three will introduce introduction, the total cost, uh, not solely price of drugs uh, or device per se. So number three, personalized cancer medicine and better value outcome on patients. Then we'll pass to part two and then part three, three successive videos uh, um, yeah, that, co that constitute this uh, uh, topic. Nine points in three parts. Firstly, uh, we focus on the exploration of example of published and ongoing scientific research and approach that could lead to resource saving and better value radio therapy and cancer systemic therapy. Radio therapy, cancer systemic therapy, surgery, all clinical uh, 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 intervention. Some of the presented examples are on breast cancer as a model that could be expanded to other cancer in the world. Breast cancer is the world's most frequently diagnosed cancer among women. However, particularly most of the diagnostic, uh, moreover, 
particularly most of the diagnostic and treatment modalities are used in breast cancer care. Most, most of the, uh, of the, uh, the modalities, in fact, are used in breast cancer care and early and advanced than all. The win-win initiative suggests that clinical oncology shouldn't copy protocols or guidelines of international society or groups automatically if they don't fit the local patient and conditions. For example, by definition, the cancer treatment guideline could be very useful as guides, but not be, uh, but not be obligatory considered as pathways to treat every patient in all communities in the world. Useful approaches and protocol could be tailored in scientific evidence-based way, ways in order to consider how to get better value patient center health care according to the real condition among your patients in different communities. This means that there is a wide gate for scientific work works and relevant publication for uh, the real uh, world practice. Secondly, the total cost and not solely uh, uh, price of uh, uh, drugs or device uh, per se. We emphasize uh, several times in the win-win uh, movement and in, the, in uh, this book, our book and in courses that it would serve millions of human beings with cancer in the world to boost the progress of science implementation to save health system uh, economy from collapse and to flourish health industry. All will win. We consider resource sparing of the total cost of, here is the point, we consider the resource sparing of the total cost of clinical oncology care and not solely the prices of radiotherapy devices and cancer drugs per se. In France, the contribution of drug cost was less than 20% of the total cost of cancer care. In the USA, uh, but, uh, uh, it was published that uh, and posed the, uh, the, uh, the, this question was posed uh, by authors, uh, are, are hospital price a bigger problem than drug prices? And uh, Barlas, uh, the author, uh, 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 presented these statistics. Overall, hospital represents 33% of USA health costs, physician and clinical spending 20%, and drugs 10%. Total U.S. hospital spending in 2017 reached 1.1 trillion compared with uh, uh, 333 billion for prescription of drugs, according to findings of the centers of Medicare and, and Medicaid service, services. Uh, so uh, this is what is noticed that drug cost is compared. Uh, is, is is a part, but not all. So we consider in uh, in in, in uh, a win-win initiative and, and lowering the total cost of treatment, including uh, uh, drugs, uh, devices, etc. But this is just a part. But total cost of treatment, and not drugs or devices per se. However, in the last years, there is more skyrocketing increase of prices of the new drugs than ever. This is also an observation, and this is, uh, you, all of you would observe that. Ideally, value-based pricing of drugs or approval based on, on in incremental cost effectiveness expressed by per quality adjusted life year gained in relation to average national income would be promising method for setting limits on the cost of new treatments. And here is the reference, Richard uh, uh, Sullivan and other, uh, uh, Kiro Tsikora. Uh, uh, Kiro Tsikora is one of the co-directors of this program. In the UK, uh, National Institute of Health and Clinical Experience, uh, Clinical Excellence, NICE, evaluates the clinical and cost effectiveness of oncology intervention. Uh, uh, the same uh, uh, explicitly considering Kali, Kali is uh, the uh, quality adjusted per life year, uh, gained and pro uh, and provide national health service with advice on which treatments should be covered. Then a value-based pricing system of approval for medicine was adopted in the UK. U.S. healthcare payers, health economics, and policymakers are looking for strategies to combat high drug prices and, and, and spending. In the USA, spending on prescription grow on, uh, uh, on average 
of 3.6% 3, 3, uh, annually from uh, the year 2008 and 2017 and continue till this year 2023. So uh, it is a fact that uh, if dr uh, drugs and, and others consider a, a, a fraction of the, uh, just a fraction of the total cost, but this fraction is increasing skyrocketing increasing in fact to control spending france set maximum price for new products that reflect the added value of the new drug they compared with the comparator product the, co the country also pro uh, forbids price increase after a new drugs launched and, and after five years this is also a policy in in, in france and it's successful for uh, for for, uh, for, uh, for for a good extent. By retaining approach uh, used in France, private and public payers in USA could reduce drug spending without restricting access to new drugs. For, for France, pharmaceutical cost, uh, cost control strategy has two parts. First, the government contract and man with manufacturer to purchase new specification at a price that reflects their added therapeutic value. Second, it used the, a budget restraint to keep national health insurance drug spending uh, uh, in, in line. Using regulation versus relying on the market to evaluate goals at the center uh, of standing uh, uh, debate in USA health policy. Many analysts contend the regulation is inefficient to, pre uh, 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 in, in, uh, in, uh, to prevent uh, competition. Uh, <clears throat> and may prevent competition. This is, uh, France shows that regulation cost do, do, does not price competition and even make use of market prices. Also, no country system can fully replicate the USA or any other countries. Uh, it, it is it, 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 whether it's rich or less affluent. There are lessons from studying how countries like France achieve lower drug prices and uh, learn from different countries. Price ne negotiation linked to assessment of drug added value. We in the win-win movement stress that the value of intervention or treatment should be patient-centered, and also it varies in different community and condition. Moreover, from the above, we stress that uh, 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 stress on the uh, on that in the win-win movement we mean by scientific study not only medical, clinical, pharmacological, medical physics, and innovation in health industry and informatics studies but also economic research business model studies and all aspects that contribute to the uh, 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 to the increase of access uh, of to better uh, value cancer care in the world note uh, is the question why we presented uh, a published example of the measure in france and usa well in fact, there are more uh, also the, uh, there are more details, uh, reference and details in chapter fourteen. You can revise it. But why 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 we, we, we do this? In fact, in every country, affluent or less affluent, one may limit his scope to his country. While the problem of increased difficulty in affordability of health and cancer care is global but with variable severity pattern and condition. So we, we learn from other, and, and we take what could be useful to, to, to your condition. In the win-win movement, we adopt that it's inspiring from measures used in some countries could be useful in other countries, provided it should be applied in a smart and scientific way, in a smart and scientific way to adopt or to modify only the measures that could fit the, the specific country. So not copy, to, to copy. Thirdly, personalized cancer medicine or better value outcome uh, uh, on, on patient. Uh, in, in, in 2011, uh, 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 I stated that there is some uh, uh, overlapping of term target therapy over the, uh, the, the broader meaning of the term personalized medicine. And uh, I propose that the term personalized treatment would, would patch from the notion of uh, uh, only hitting a target, one target in the tumor by uh, the drug, usually expensive. Yes, <laughs> there's a broader concept to consider medical factor, biological tumor factors, and human factors as personal expectations and priorities without compromising the overall outcome and ev via evidence-based studies. Hence, 
it would include more aspect of human host like variability in pharmacogenomics, pharmaco pharmaco pharmacodynamics, and pharmacokinetics of different for different drugs and different individuals and other personal variation in human beings and socioeconomic aspects. Moreover, moreover, we suggest that the term precision cancer treatment should include the prediction of risk and toxicity of treatment in the real daily practice in the real world. So it's not only the effect, but side effects uh, and variety of side effects and variable side effects in different communities and different patients in different uh, uh, instances, etc. And that may differ differ among people as individual and different community instances and pharmacogenomics aspects. This is the, the end of part one. Thank you for your attention. We are looking to receive your feedback. And uh, 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 I stop sharing here uh, 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 the slides and uh, 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 going forward as usual and at the end of any any we say uh, uh, going forward hand in hand uh, in the win-win initiative it is yours bye bye also uh, uh, if you have any question uh, uh, please uh, 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 we are there and please promote and forward uh, this uh, uh, program uh, to your course, particularly clinical oncologists, particularly who are dealing with cancer care every day uh, 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 in different specialties, uh, even seniors in oncology nursing, uh, 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 health economist. So, uh, because it, it is a program of global oncology implementing science. The big problem in what you, you, you we hear all that most of the time about global oncology is something like public talks or TV talks. This will not improve anything. Exhausts some funds and some uh, expenses. But to face the real problem of cancer care is via science. And unfortunately, most of the people who are taking care of patients are uh, 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 in, in the, on daily basis are busy, but they are not realized that this is the future. This is the future. So, uh, 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 In the second uh, part, we present choosing wisely. Please, this is very important initiative, and but we discuss everything with open mind. We and we say this is this is limitation for that, and this but there is a big need for, for choosing wisely for these needs for common oncology sense. And, but the win-win is a combination of all this, but. We present alternatives. We should present all of us, all initiatives should present, be together, present alternatives to patients. Not to say, I choose this wisely for the patient. So, uh, but, but what is the, uh, what is the alternative? How we didn't compromise the outcome for this patient? This is very important and very scientific and very human question. And this is not could be replied, uh, could not be replied by by public talks it could be replied by science by you okay now i'm gonna kill him already also, uh, I would like to say that after these talks, we are we are we listen to Professor Christina Stefan for var, for her valuable comments, and we are open for all of you now and after. Send your comments and your ideas and suggestions. Thank you. Hello. We start now the second part of our. Uh, of this important lecture that 
it is the start of the module three of our course uh, global uh, oncology implementing science as a part of the global oncology university Uh, I, 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 I as introduced uh, the first part is about general overview for scientific resource saving uh, for and better value treatment approaches. Uh, part two is uh, uh, contains here the the scheme of the part two the choosing wisely campaign, uh, 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 and we discuss in it choosing wisely in medical practice, choosing wisely in clinical oncology choosing wisely top five fairest, uh, list, and then the recognize limitations of the choosing wisely, but there are uh, a great global uh, needs for further studies. This is the content of the part, part two. Uh, this, uh, uh, choosing wi wisely in medical practice, uh, over treatment and necessary care and the, the consequences of uh, patient safety and health system but the sustainable sustainability are issues of increasing concern. In 2002, American Board of Internal Medicine uh, Foundation published medical professionalism in the new millennium. A physician charter, it, it is stated that physicians have responsibility to promote health equity when some health resources are scarce. In two, two, 2010, physician Howard Brody recommended that the medical specialty societies, being uh, uh, stewards of a field, ought to publish a list of five things they, that uh, uh, they would like to be changed in their field and publish it to their members. In 2012, uh, 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 American Board of Internal Medicine uh, 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 led choosing wisely as the United States based health education educational pro, uh, campaign about unnecessary health care, unnecessary tests, treatment, and procedures. To conduct the campaign, the ABIM, uh, the, the, the American Board of Internal Medicine a Foundation, asked medical specialty society to make five to ten recommendations then publish this information and the medically medical society soci societies disseminated to, 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 disseminated to their members in choosing wiley uh, 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 campaign became an international multi multi specialty initiative the campaign has seated uh, 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 has been seated as being part of the broader movement including many comparable campaign in uh, uh, to date to 25th november uh, where, where i prepare this slide uh, this presentation 25th november 2023 uh, 30 countries or, or, or more have joined the movement including canada which coordinates the organization australia brazil wales germany japan england israel Inter italy new zealand the netherlands switzerland switzerland and the united states more than 80 professional societies have participated in, the, in this effort generating a list of more than 800 examples 800 of unnecessary and low value services. You imagine this, 800 examples. When we movement comment, great appreciation for the huge, this is our comment, uh, great, it is a great appreciation for the huge international work of choosing wisely and collaborators, really. Uh, but we, we, we present here some of the limitation and some suggestion also. Oncological and other society have tar targeted routine tests and treatments that are associated with increasing health care costs and patient harm without improving survival or quality of life. Choosing wisely wisely in clinical oncology in the United States, escalating health care represents a central problem for both federal government and the private sector. 
The cost of cancer care in USA is augmenting exponentially and cancer care related spending was projected to be uh, 173 billions in 20, 2020. Now it's more. A proportion of this expansion is attributed to unnecessary medical services. Unnecessary medical services. Take it, take it, uh, please uh, note this. Unnecessary medical services, which account for an estimated 21% of health care services provided in the United States. Account what? How much? 21, one fifth of the health service provided in the United States. This information is particularly useful for policymakers for understanding the future burden of cost of cancer care and prioritizing future resources in cancer research, treatment, and prevention. The American Society of Clinical Oncology is the largest, as you know, largest uh, oncological society in the world and uh, committed to con conquering cancer through research, education, prevention, and uh, uh, pro uh, uh, of high quality pa patient care. Uh, uh, as could recognize the importance of evidence based cancer care and uh, 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 Surely, and uh, and making wise uh, 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 choices on the in, in the diagnosis and management of patients with cancer. After careful deliberation by experienced uh, oncologists, ask high points ten categories of tests for procedure and or treatment whose common use and clinical value are not supported by available evidence. You imagine this. This test and treatment option should not be administrated unless the physician and patient have carefully considered if their use is appropriate in the individual case. You can view, view the web uh, of uh, choosing wisely, ASCO, uh, this list of uh, 10 items by that physician and patient should question in oncology are listed in their web, and there is a link to the web of choosing wisely. And there is an excellent uh, reference here for uh, Lewis Schnipper, Professor Lewis Schnipper, the, the, the renowned pioneer of this of choosing wisely and many uh, other work in ASCO and international. Choosing wisely top five list. Please take care of these notes that American Society of Clinical Oncology declares choosing wisely five list. However, ASCO has also stated that these items are provided solely for informational purposes and not intended to replace a medical professional's independent judgment or a substitute for consultation with a medical professional. This top five list. One, don't give patients start, uh, starting in on chemotherapy regime that has a low or moderate risk of causing nausea and vomiting anti, uh, anti emetic drugs intended for use with a regime that has high risk of causing nausea and vomiting. Two, don't use combination chemotherapy multiple drugs instead of chemotherapy with one drug when treating an individual for metastatic breast cancer unless the patient needs a rapid response to relieve tumor-related symptoms. This is very important. Huh? Uh, don't use combination chemotherapy if one drug can, can do the necessary. Uh, in metastatic breast cancer, for example, avoid using PET or PET-CT scanning as a part of routine follow-up care to monitor a cancer recurrence or asymptomatic patient who have finished initial treatment to eliminate the cancer, uh, the, uh, the cancer uh, 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 unless there is a high level of evidence that such imaging will change the outcome. So uh, just after treatment, uh, treatment to initial treatment to eliminate cancer, just bit city after bit city after bit city. This is nonsense. Don't perform PSA testing. But attention here for whom? Screen, uh, for prostate cancer screening in men. Who with no symptoms of the disease when they are, uh, are expected to live uh, less than 10 years. 
Uh, don't uh, use a targeted therapy, five, don't use targeted therapy intended for use, for use against a specific genetic operation unless the patient tumor cell have specific biomarker that predict an effective response to the target therapy. In, in, in fact, this uh, the, the, the last point is goes without saying. Uh, 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 firstly, they recognize the recommend limitation, but there are global needs for further studies. No doubt there are great needs in all over the world to achieve aims of choosing wisely to reduce the cost of unnecessary medical procedures and treatment. However, the campaign has garnered both praise and criticism, but at both. Uh, uh, and, and some of the idea have spread to other countries. In a study done in um, uh, 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 to, 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 to 2015 in the USA, primary health care providers found that most choosing wise recommendation is easy to follow, but they felt that some special resource of for a symptomatic condition would be difficult for patients to accept. Some doctors has, have said they, they lack time for the recommended discussion. <clears throat> in UK, English doctors are worried how patients will receive the initiative. So there are, uh, there are well, as we stated in the webs of choosing wisely, uh, 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 I stated in the, in the webs of choosing wisely, choosing wisely recommendations should not be used establish, to establish our coverage decisions of, or exclusions. Be aware of this. Hmm? But they are meant to encourage conversion about what is the appropriate and necessary treatment, as each patient situation is unique. Each patient say, patient situation is unique. Okay, providers and, uh, uh, and patients should use the recommendation as guidelines to determine an appropriate treatment plan together. Regarding the impact, one of the noted critics is that. Uh, choosing wisely does not include evaluation of its effect on costs, on on discussion or in on uh, medical outcomes. The choosing wisely campaign has no anticipation to essentially research to its own efficacy, but academic centers and clinics are making plan plans to uh, independently report on the impact of the campaign. The services and the targeted but choosing wisely list have a broad variance in how much impact they can have on patient care and cost. Doctor analyzed many services listed in as low value by choosing wisely and other sources and, for, and found that, yes, it's 25 to or, or, or 42, according to the um, also, in publications of medic of Medicare patients receive at least one of these services in in an average year, depending on definition, and that was no was no significant pattern among types on, uh, of physicians. There's reference here; you, you can notice it. Them, the scope of choosing why the command of cancer is not well defined. This this quality improved study characteristic characterizes the scope of these recommendations, focusing on the de implementation of low value cancer care, and identify potential uh, chance for future work. Choosing wise recommendation proposed by some of the most important on college society should be considered a starting point and a sensitivity notion motion in this movement. Nevertheless, the way to go is still long, especially if a real culture change in the oncology community must happen before choosing why they become a real uh, modus operandi, operandi, modus operandi is Latin work, okay, Latin work. Uh, so that means a particular way of doing implementation. That means that there are uh, 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 there are more potential defects in choosing wisely initiative. Uh, perhaps the measure being the lack of uniform metrics. This is also a defect. It is feasible to state that a test uh, 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 to state that a test is unnecessary, but 
what criteria are used to, re to, to re re reliably and prospectively define what is necessary. The most important challenge will be the change of attitude in clinical practice for the situation in which scientific evidence suggests that the proposed intervention has modest or no impact or could be harmful. The, this change is necessary and the challenge should be accepted quickly. So the choosing wisely more and more mean choosing right. Choosing wisely has created a principal pathway through which patient and their doctor can discuss when healthcare service may not be needed. It was reported also that several important steps will remain to fulfill promise, the promise of choosing wisely. It is now time to take those steps. We think so. As we in this program ad adopt flexibility of souls and encourage uh, brainstorming ideas, we may suggest that choosing Wiley campaign adopts the win-win notions that belongs to all. It is not ours, it just belongs to all. And accordingly, it would advocate for global collaboration and partnerships to conduct unlimited scientific exploration of evidence and value-based and patient-centered innovative approaches that consider patient, physical, social, personal condition, instances, and the patient expectation in different communities. So research, exploration. The interest of different parties would be considered. Hence, it would be a big global scientific better value win-win choosing wisely campaign where all stakeholders of cancer care in the real world would gain particularly cancer patients. Once again, we state that in this group of lecture in this model, we raise the stimulating brainstorming issue. We don't claim that we have the completely perfect statement or complete truth. Science is a perpetual searching for, for, forever. So leave recorded panel will be organized to discuss all these points. So if, if there is some criticism or some good uh, good uh, support for what we say, no problem. We are open for all views. This could enrich science and the cause of cancer care. All feedback, comments, advice, and suggestions are welcome. We are looking forward to receiving your feedback. I just thought we uh, if you uh, uh, once again, if you need a uh, uh, PDF uh, copy of this uh, uh, presentation, just send to us. Please thank you for your attention and uh, 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 goodbye till other next, next lecture. And uh, uh, looking to to hear to healing has the pleasure of having the pleasure of hearing from all of you. Thank you. Bye bye. Uh, Professor Christina Stefan, are you with us? Yes, I see you. Please, your valuable comment, and we count on you to oh, read thank, and thank to promote this activity because, as you see, it needs patient, people who are working really in cancer care. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah. Is, is, is not a public talk. Please, Thank please. you so much, Professor Ahmed. Um, I mean, I will just have some short comments. Uh, young colleagues, they have uh, great courses and definitely amazing classes and a fantastic book that they can really use. I would like to challenge them and ask them to think what will be really the best for their patients. So we start off you know, we have a lot of references from United States, from France, from UK, which they bring valuable information. But what I see at the moment is really more evidence from Africa. I would really like us to be more engaged and really produce this evidence. Everything that is happening overseas, not everything, but a lot of what you said in terms of financial toxicity, in terms of protocols and so on, um, we do not have enough, I would say, scientific evidence. We have the patients, right? We know that we are going to have one in four will be African very, very, very soon. I think even earlier than the estimate. Um, what I would really wish to see and encourage my younger colleagues would be to look for that scientific evidence as well. So people from US, from UK, with all respect, could also, you know, use us 
our published articles and papers and research uh, while we use their references uh, too. Secondly, um, I would like to draw your attention about the ASCO guidelines. Uh, everybody knows about ASCO, really one of the most amazing organizations, very solid oncology, and they have like, I think, five top priorities. But I would still encourage the younger people to think carefully, even if those priorities are mentioned by ASCO, they also said they are just indications and the professional judgment is there to really be the leading force in treating a patient, uh, such as, for example, PSA in a patient that has less than 10 years to live. I mean, you would expect even miracles in oncology and in Africa, so people who would live longer than 10 years, even if we would not expect that to do. So these are just general rules in general. Um, so I would suggest to use your um, really professional knowledge and practice that you have acquired uh, in your clinics and hospitals. And I will end um, just with maybe one recommendation. I think we have like two minutes left or three minutes left. Um, you know, thinking back of my career, something that I wish uh, that I had and I would value uh, a lot would be to have a mentor. So reach out to your more senior colleagues, people who inspire you, people who you think that are really your model in terms of oncology care, in terms of their attitudes, in terms of their approach, in terms of their uh, empathy towards dealing with a patient, people who value equity, people who try to reduce these inequalities that we are talking so much. Find your mentor in your country, in your hospital, or any mentor, and try to have that person to be next to you and to guide you in your professional career. Uh, that is an advice that I give you after maybe 25 years, 30 years of practice, uh, something that is extremely valuable. And you will see uh, that those people uh, who will be with you during your journey could contribute a lot in terms of giving you the advice, in terms of teaching you, in terms of really being your companion uh, when you are crossing difficult situation, but also to enjoy uh, your achievements and your success. And this being said, thank you once again. Another great course. Hopefully we will continue and we'll have more and more participants to share the knowledge and the experience. Thank you, Professor Ahmed. Thank you to you all. Thank you, Thank you. Professor Christina Stefan. And we always count on your leadership and promotion for this among oncologists and cancer care providers everywhere in the world because we need them. I agree completely with your point because that is what we need, implementing science, uh, searching for evidence, and this is very important. One other thing uh, is that all these videos are uh, 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 after it is uh, will be present in the in the web, also as YouTube. So forward these links to videos, so it is will be permanent library. It is not just. Uh, few uh, 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 talks and uh, will disappear after but this will be permanent what we said now uh, uh, Christina will be permanent and will be kept and as always you can hear it listen to it once and twice and three and accessible to all this is accessible global oncology this is what a dream for all of us by the way second point uh, i sent you and i can send you to, to again that uh, professor christina stefan is uh, 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 editing a series of uh, 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 articles in uh, of 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 uh, uh, articles in uh, journals and uh, uh, about uh, uh, particularly about the problem of low middle income country cancer care in profession in low middle income countries. So please contact her if you have something she can guide you, I can help you. And this is then we, we transform our, our your talks, our speaking into a, a published work. 
under the mentorship of Professor Christina Stefan. Please do welcome all. Now, thank you, Christina. Uh, if anyone would like to, to, of our dear colleague, would like to say something. This is Will. Will, I, I would like to hear from you two minutes. <laughs> please, please interfere. <laughs> interfere, uh, Will. Okay, I was trying to unmute. I couldn't unmute, sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Professor Ahmed, for, for the opportunity. I think I, I totally agree with uh, Professor Christina Stefan about, you know, the, the importance of mentorship. You know, I had to b benefit from that myself, so I know the value of it. Um, and I also agree that, you know, the it's really, really important that, you know, we think about how we can generate some of the science and the evidence from low and middle income countries. Um, and I think that, you know, actually the really great thing about doing that is that then the ev evidence is coming from, from us and, uh, you know, it takes appropriately the cultural context and the local context uh, into account. So, um, so yeah, I mean, and I totally agree with that. And obviously we'll do our part, Professor Ahmed, to uh, to share this important uh, content as much as possible. Thanks. Thank you, Will. You are the boss of running the show and all administrative and all scientific things. So we uh, expect uh, 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 your support for uh, 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 and our group of coordinators now, Mahmoud and Masri, Fatumata, Lensa, uh, Geneva, to promote more uh, this uh, uh, courses among cancer care professional in affluent country in john hopkins in harford because the message is not only for low middle income countries but it is global message africa will not go forward if we see look at, at it as uh, as a uh, as a separate uh, uh, entity it's part of the world south asia is part of the world east europe is part of the world west europe uh, as part of the world, this is a good sense of seeing seeing the world as global, and we can uh, as uh, 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 scientific research and implementing science can be uh, useful, uh, inspired from here to there, or modified from here to there. This is very important. the The problem of uh, of uh, 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 lack of better value cancer care and uh, uh, the problem of challenge uh, innovation to put innovation against uh, affordability, this is wrong, but innovation could serve. But so the involvement of our colleagues in John Hopkins, Harvard, Oxford, uh, cancer care professional is very important with our colleagues from everywhere in the world. Uh, we count on you, on, on your, or on your, <laughs> uh, as a boss for this. Thank you, Will. Is there any other uh, comment? Fatumata, uh, did you receive any other thing? Fatumata and Linsa, please just uh, at, at two minutes present yourself because you, you are coordinator for this work. Fatumata, you are here. Is Hello, Professor Yeah, thank you so much. I have no comment, but I appreciate the comment um, from different professors. And thank you, Prof. Fungwa, and thank you, Prof. Christina, and thank you, Prof. Ahmed, for the time um, you have to share the insights. And I, I do agree, mentorship is very, very important. And I think this is a really interesting platform where we can meet and discuss and interact with the global leaders that you are with so much experience that we can learn from, we can use in our daily activities, not only in oncology. So I would like to thank everyone. And as Prof. Ahmed said, please share and advertise the course and let us know also what you think and please interact with us and continue to join the course. It's a 
it's a win-win hand-in-hand activity and course so thank you thank you for fatumata for all your efforts and we count on you and lensa and jennifer to distribute the message and promote for it it's need a lot of work among cancer care professional in uh, uh, united states and uh, with europe and everywhere in the world uh, finally uh, uh, if any uh, other colleague would like to interfere or to, to give us uh, this is the final note dr fifi are you there Dr. Fifi. Ask me to unmute. If you unmute your mic. Anyway, uh, 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 we uh, will listen to you uh, 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 in other time. Please be with us all the time. And finally, uh, uh, next week we may have, we are arranging now, and and uh, and a, a, a common uh, session, uh, a, a global uh, oncology implementing science uh, of the GoU, with our colleagues in North Macedonia, Macedonia, with our colleague who was one of the leader of the Win Win and Global Oncology University, Professor Bashkim Zebari, who is uh, uh, was candidate for to, to be uh, even president of uh, the University of Titova. So we'll have a common session, scientific session, uh, 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 at the same time next Wednesday at 4 p.m. Greenwich time, uh, 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 from from 4 to 5:15. 50, so I would like to tell you now. Uh, a goodbye and looking to always to uh, having the pleasure of hearing from you. Thank you.